Hello there. Uh, if you are on this channel, chances are that you are an advanced internet user who blocks ads for yourself and uh, all kinds of privacy um, problems on the internet, like fingerprinting and anything that tracks you around, right? Uh, but I mean, uh, I do that as well, right? Uh, I have ad blockers, uh, but no matter these plugins that I have installed in my uh, web browsers, uh, I have also installed uh, Pi-hole uh, and I thought it wouldn't have too much to block after all the things that I block manually with plugins, right? Uh, but I was quite surprised uh, at how much more it blocks no matter uh, my uh, manual effort uh, to, to block stuff. So. Uh, I just, um, I'm just gonna keep it, right? Uh, I've, I have had one of these Raspberry Pis lying around. Um, actually, this is a Pi 3 and I have uh, a Pi 2B uh, extra that I was for the longest time, I didn't know what to do with it. It's not powerful enough to serve anything on the internet and act as a small server, right? I mean, I have a Raspberry Pi 5 who basically serve this video uh, or if you're watching on Peertube. So um, so, so for the Pi 2, I wasn't sure what to do with it. It was just uh, collecting dust in my uh, closet. Uh, and now it's running uh, Pi Hole and it's doing this perfectly. It, it has plenty of power for that. So let me just show you around. Okay, so first of all, you're going to have to uh, update your um, Raspberry Pi operating system. I have installed uh, the bookworm uh, version of Raspberry Pi OS, uh, and um, this is a 32-bit version, right? Uh, but yeah, you, you're going to have to update it first, then you go to the PyHole website, you click on the install button, there is a curl script uh, that you can copy-paste uh, to the Raspberry Pi shell. Just copy-paste it there, start your installation, So the first time that I was installing uh, PyHole, I have run into a small issue and this was that the installer uh, from the Raspberry Pi side has detected that I'm using Kitty and you're probably not going to have this problem, but if you do use Kitty, the f fastest way to fix this is just install Kitty uh, on Raspberry Pi OS as well and this will be a hot fix for this little challenge. And then you're going to start this installation again. And yeah, uh, now we are uh, at some settings for the uh, Raspberry Pi. It is going to warn you that you're going to need a static IP address. Yeah, so let's go ahead and configure our static IP address. Go to the wired correction connection. Uh, just go to manual show your address, uh, type whichever you are planning to use, use your gateway. Uh, for now, use the public DNS server. Later, we are going to change this to Raspberry uh, Pi IP address uh, to use the Pi hole. Uh, and then you can just reboot your uh, Raspberry Pi operating system in order to see that everything is working perfectly after the fresh boot. And then go ahead and log in again to the Raspberry Pi. See that you have the new IP address uh, running and let's just uh, run the installer once again. Okay, now this time we have the static IP address, so we can go ahead and continue the installation normally. Choose your upstream uh, DNS provider. I have uh, chosen Cloudflare. Uh, you're going to get some basic uh, blocking lists which you can later um, expand with, with your own. Do you wish to enable query logging? Uh, this is up to you. It will take some space on your SD card and write a little bit more. Uh, there will be some other options that you can choose from. 
and then we're going to have to continue the installation. And there we go, the installation is almost done. The installer is just restarting services. Okay, this is our uh, intro password. Don't worry about it, I have changed it afterwards, after recording this video. Uh, so the thing that you're going to do now, go to the PyHole uh, website. Log in with your new password. And there we have it, this is your interface. It is actually working now. What you need to do, go to your home router and this is this will be different on yours, uh, but what you need to do is find the the place where your DHCP server is um, serving your home clients, and you're going to tell it to use the um, DNS server, uh, and you're going to give it the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. Also, go to your Raspberry Pi configuration uh, and put your DNS server. Uh, to the IP address of your Raspberry Pi as well and reboot just to make sure that everything is working fine. After you uh, reboot your Raspberry Pi, check your uh, DNS server on your home computer where you will be testing the ad blocking functionality. I'm just gonna ha go, go ahead and install Chrome quickly because uh, I need a fresh uh, clean browser without uh, any ad blocking functionality so I can show you the ads on the internet. Let's go ahead and skip these things quickly and let's go to um, let's go to the Diverge web page. Okay, and this is the place where you're going to see some ads. There we go, some sneakers. Okay, let's go back to our uh, home computer to the place where we change the IP address of the DNS server. Type the IP address of your um, DNS server, the new one, the Pi Hole. Just refresh the web page, and there we go. There are no more ads anymore. Let's go to another web page just for the uh, just for the testing. And as you can see, there are some holes uh, in this uh, web page, and um, but there are no ads, right? So there we go. If you go back, you can see that uh, we have. Um, some queries already. You can just uh, browse through the interface a little bit to see the various options that are available for you. Um, compute graphical statistics, how many queries uh, in, in this hour, queries blocked, top domains. Uh, actually at this moment the, there is nothing special um, you know the, you cannot see any statist statistics right now because it's freshly installed. Uh, but I have just went through all of the options to show you the various things that you can uh, see, like updating the um, uh, blocking list uh, from the internet. This is something that you're going to do periodically, or maybe you will add some of your own blocking list. Uh, you can add some white lists if you need it uh, for any reason, and etc. right? You can change the skin, of course, uh, in, in this uh, application in PyHole. I love the Star Trek three team, themed one. And yeah, you can already see some statistics going on. Uh, we have one, uh, 75 uh, blocked queries so far, and we just opened two web pages. But yeah, uh, if you are using the internet, you definitely should be blocking everything that you don't need on the internet. I mean, um, I'm just gonna rant like an old man yelling at clouds right now, but when I was younger there was the, let's call it Internet 1.0, right? Uh, I mean, there was ads, uh, there were ads uh, on these uh, web pages, but a lot of web pages were like personal web pages, and a lot of it was like um, maybe enthusiast grade, uh, I'm not sure if that's the correct term for it, but you know, as time went by, the the, the 
the tendency of the web to nag you about all kinds of stuff increased tenfold or, or more like uh, you, you today before you would go to the web page and the web page would be shown to you and that's pretty much it right and today you go to the web page and there is an ad here there's an ad here please buy this please buy that this is flashing this is flashing uh, please uh, accept these cookies because we are doing the cookie business uh, i mean we, we are cooking co cookies i guess um and then please subscribe to our newsletters uh, this is the pop-up right and then i i know you haven't paid for this web page so you cannot read the rest of this text which is hidden behind this uh, stupidly uh, programmed Java, JavaScript, which you can just block uh, or, or disable, but you know, we're going to nag it uh, at you. Um, the internet is a bit shit today, and I think you should all be blocking whatever you can to make it more enjoyable for yourself uh, to browse the internet and make it a little bit more as it has been before right so i hope this uh, video has helped you uh, in some way and if you liked it give it a thumbs up and a follow and subscribe you know all that stuff and i'm gonna see you in the next one bye bye